other than an occasional passing car, this is a quiet rural corner of Waxahachie. Baas and Great House are both two-lane roads. Trooper William Lockridge agreed to meet us there. We all want the best for our kids, and we want our kids to grow up and have great experiences. This just isn't a chance that's worth taking. The chance of an off-road UTV on a public street. Sunday night, 7 p.m., a half hour before sunset. A 16-year-old driving a Can-Am Defender with a 12-year-old and two 14-year-old passengers. It had a stop sign but failed to stop at the stop sign. This was the result. It hit the passenger side of a pickup truck driving north, a truck that did not have a stop sign and that troopers say had the right-of-way on a 45-mile-an-hour road. Troopers say all four teens were ejected when the UTV rolled. The 12-year-old boy died at the scene. While this is a tragedy, we want to take this as a teaching moment to let people know that you, these things are fun. They're a lot of fun, but they're not built to be on public roadways. Meanwhile, I did reach the driver of the pickup truck by phone. He said that the crash was so intense when the ATV hit the passenger side of his truck that all of the airbags in the vehicle went off. Today, he did, however, want to express his condolences to all of the teenage victims. Similar sentiments from Waxahachie ISD this morning where one of the students attends school. Meanwhile, Cook Children's says a 14-year-old boy is in critical condition. A 14-year-old girl is at Children's Hospital in Dallas and a 16-year-old girl at Baylor Scott and White in Dallas. Well, as a father, you got to hug your kids every day. Because of horrible days like this. In Waxahachie, I'm Kevin Reese.